Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel to another Dazzled or Disappointed. I feel like it's been a little while since I've done one of these and I think it was because I was doing them so often during the holiday season that it almost feels a little strange to not be doing them so often. And so I know there's a couple of releases here soon, you know, kind of sporadic, um, but I have not been on the makeup binge that I was on during the holiday season which is a good thing because I really needed to give it a rest, especially uh, coming out of the Christmas season with gifts and everything. It's just, it needed to die down a little bit. So I actually have a Dazzled or Disappointed for you as I almost drop it on the new Sephora Favorites box called Give Me Some New Lip. I see that they have been cranking out the Sephora Favorites sets here recently. So I know Sephora does these kind of like in seasons, you know, they have the, when you get into the holiday season, they have quite a few, it's probably their biggest ones. And then you get into the spring and they have a few more. And then you get into the summer, they have a couple more. So they have some specific to each season. This particular one is give me some new lip, which is actually, I think a first for the Sephora favorites. Usually it's give me some nude lip. Um, I, there's several other variations. This is give me some new lip and it's kind of like a little sampler or a little way to test some of the brand new products that have been releasing at Sephora for lips. So if you're looking to see how this performed, if it's worth your while, if it's worth your time and money, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first off, this is a first for me. I don't think they've come out with a packaging like this. It reminds me of a Happy Meal from McDonald's. Do you know, do you remember those when you were a kid and they had like the little cardboard boxes with the little handle? I even think they still have those. I don't know if all the time, but I think from time to time. I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what it totally reminds me of is a McDonald's Happy Meal box. So it is $28. And it does come with, uh, let's see, five products, and two of them are full size. I will point out to you which ones are full size. I don't usually do um, lip wear on my channel, like changing it out. I will do it for you today just so that you can have an idea of how they look on my skin tone um, and kind of give you some ideas. I will tell you, my lips, it has been so cold um, where I'm at. I'm um, in Texas and so it has been incredibly cold this past week. We had temperatures that we don't usually have so like at night down to like 19 and during the day like in the 30s which is very unusual for our type of winters. Usually the lows are like 30s and 40s and then during the day 50s and 60s. So my skin and my lips have been incredible incredibly dry. Um, my lips have been super parched and I'm the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask usually does wonders for me. It's even struggling right now. So um, I just want to point that out because there's going to be a couple of comments I make in regards to these products. Um, but I do want also to disclose that my lips are uber chapped right now. So not flaky or anything, just kind of pruney. Um, anyways, so is my skin not pruny dry. <laughs> Let's jump into this so that I can show you swatches and give you my thoughts. Okay guys, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. Like I said, I haven't done a lip wear thing on my video before. So I'm going to have to take off what I am wearing right now because I'm going to try to do it without disturbing my foundation. So let's see if that's even possible because I am not a graceful, neat type of person. I'm a little bit, you know, all over the place. So. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the first, okay, there's a couple of things that are gonna be ideal as the first test so that it doesn't leave a stain behind. The first one is something I already have in the full size, which is always disappointing to me because I love picking these things up to have, to add to my collection things I don't already have. Now, the Huda Lip Strobe Gloss in the shade Snobby is something I do already own in the full size. Don't get me wrong, it's beautiful. I just, because I have the full size, I def definitely didn't need another one. But these are the sizes that came in her little lip tins, if you remember those, um, the trios that came out for the holidays with the liner, the lipstick, and the strobe. So I am going to put this on for you, um, and that way you can see what it looks like. So if you saw my 
best of 2017 video, you saw that the Huda lip strobes were one of my favorite lip products for the year. And there's good reason for that. So a couple of thoughts first, um, before I give those to you, this is what is on my lips. This is how it swatches. It's very, very glittery. If you're not into the uber sparkle, this will not be for you. So let me zoom you in because I don't know if you're going to be able to see the sparkle from far away. Do you see that? So it's very, you can tell, there is quite a bit of coverage. So you think of a gloss and you think kind of a sheer wash of color, maybe some sparkle. This is no joke. So if you want sparkle and something to stand out without kind of the drying lipstick formulation, kind of like the Ciate glitter um, lippies, the glitter flips, then this is absolutely for you. Um, wrong way, as usual. <laughs> Um, so the thoughts I have for you are on this, and I, like I said, I've already included this in previous videos, but I will relay again. These are very, very, so they're, they're pigmented, they've got that glitter. Now, they're very also, um, I don't want to say thick because that sounds bad and they're really, it doesn't feel like uncomfortable or thick on my lips, but it's thick to where I don't wear it on top of a lipstick because then it makes the lipstick just look kind of gunky. So I have found that I do not like to use these as toppers. I like to just use them on my bare lips and I love the effect they give. There are some shades, now this is kind of one of the more sheer shades. There are some that are full on lip color with the like metallic sparkly look and they are beautiful. I love the lip strobes, so I already knew that was going to be a win for me, even though I already have the color or the shade. So let's move on to the Trestique lip balm. I'm not really one for these types of things, especially because I already have my um, favorites when it comes to lip balms, lip oils, that kind of thing. And this is, I don't use a whole lot of just, I'm gonna go on bare lips with just kind of a sheer, this kind of thing. So, but, Heck, you might find that this is absolutely up your alley. So this is what it looks like. It literally looks like a balm. You know what it looks like? Those EOS. Um, what are they calling those now? EOS? I used to call them EOS. I used to buy them, the little egg-shaped lip balm. This is in the shade Barbados Berry. Very Rihanna. Now, it gives you the look of like you just ate a popsicle. So some of y'all are really into that. And it actually is a very pretty look. It's just not one. These are not the types of things I reach for all the time. But let me zoom you in. That is what it looks like. Let me give you a quick swatch on my hand so that you can see the tint that it gives. And it really is like a berry type of shade. It's got a little bit of a scent. It's not overpowering or super strong, but just so that you know it does have a scent. And that's what it looks like. So like I said, they're just fresh. I just ate a cherry pop, cherry popsicle type thing. And it is very moisturizing. It's very thin, so it's not one of those that's gonna help you if you've got really chapped lips, kind of the way I do now. <laughs> but it is one of those that is going to, you know, if you just need like a soft moisture on your lips, this will do it for you. The shade is very pretty. The next one is the Smashbox Always On. I do love the Always On lipstick formula by Smashbox. They have some of the best formula um, in the lip liquid lipstick world. This is in the shade, uh, let's see, Rouge A. I guess that's what it called. Always on metallic matte Rouge A. Okay, so this is going to be more of a bronzy type shade, kind of like a copper bronze type shade, and it's not the type of shade I really go for. It just doesn't suit my skin tone very well. However, this is the type of shade that would suit a deeper skin toned lady very, very well. So I just wanna throw that out there, and I think that's really nice because sometimes they come out with these lip kits, like they give me some nude lip, and they include nude shades that really are not suitable for all skin types um, or skin tones and so it's kind of nice that they've included um, some stuff in here that just kind of you know um, anybody can use which makes it nice but I do think this would really suit a deeper skin toned lady very very nicely so let's go ahead and throw this bad boy on so I like it more than I have liked um, bronzy copper shades in the past um, but when I had first tried it on, I was like, oh, I'm not, you know, I pulled the wand out and I started using it and I was like, mm. so it's kind of grown on me a little. Um, it's still not my favorite 
shade for my skin tone. Um, and I do love metallic lippies. I mean, the crimson, what is it? The crimson red one, it's crimson something, I can't remember the exact name, by Smashbox that came in like the minis for the holidays. I love that one. So I'm all about the metallic lip. I love it. I just, you know, certain tones I'm just not super crazy about, but let me zoom you in and that's what that looks like. What I really do like is it's not too brown, so it doesn't, it's not as dark as some of the metallic shades out there um, that really kind of darken my face, but it's enough, it, it's kind of in between. So again, I think it's just really suitable for different skin tones, which is definitely a win. That is nice. Um, and that's what that looks like. So you're kind of like in the neutral, eh, more <laughs> coppery bronze type category. But that's what that looks like. I, I'm trying to think the metallic versions of these. Um, so anytime you have a metallic lippy, it's going to be a little bit of a different consistency. So it's not gonna be the exact same consistency as the creamier always on lipsticks, but this is still a very comfortable formula. I don't find it to be super drying. It doesn't suck all the moisture out of my lips. So that also is a plus for this one. The next one that we're going to go over is also a full size and it's the Marc Jacobs, uh, let's see, it's Lamarck Liquid Lip Crayon and it's in the shade Night Mauves. And so this also is a full size. I will tell you these full size are $26. So $28 gets you the whole box. So it's almost like this, you're paying for this and you're basically getting everything else for free. Especially if you consider this being 20, uh, 26 and this being either 20 or 22. Um, so let's just say it's 20, then you already have $46 worth of product right here. So these types of sets are always a very good option to be able to get a good amount of product as far as bang for your buck. So let's try this bad boy on. I did. I have some thoughts for you on this because I wore this um, to work a few times. So let's put this on. Now it says liquid lip crayon, which is kind of like an oxymoron. I, when I first saw these release, I was like, that is really bizarre. But anyways, so let's put this on. Okay, so I think I already told you the name. It is called Night Mauves, so it is a mauve shade. That's what it looks like right there, and let me zoom you in so that you can kind of see what it looks like more up close. That is what that looks like. So it's a very, very pretty shade. Definitely pretty universal. It's kind of like a, I'm gonna say a deeper, it's like a deep rosy shade, which I think would also suit quite a few skin tones, which is also nice. That's also a win. So let me take you into the formula of these. So it's kind of weird. It's a liquid. So it says it's a liquid lip crayon. It does go on very, very soft, almost kind of like a liquid. It's really strange. Um, I'm not really one for lip crayons. I don't usually buy them because they don't really get used as much. Um, I will tell you, mine came broken, so mine like is lopsided, and so when I put it on, it smushes to the side, and so I think, and then it's some of the, it ends up caking up on the side right there. Um, so the first thing I want to tell you about this lip product is that it stinks. <laughs> That sounds so strange. It just smells, it, I don't like the smell. And uh, so there would be others that probably would say, I don't think it smells bad. Um, I just don't like the smell. It smells like a moldy something. I don't know. I don't like it. A moldy crayon maybe? Who knows? I just don't like the smell. So when I put it on my lips, I can smell it for a little while and that bothers me. <laughs> the other thing I'm not crazy about this is that, so granted, I told you at the beginning of the video, I've got kind of some pruny lips going on right now. So Liquid lipsticks are not ideal for me at this time. I haven't been using liquid lips, uh, lipsticks for pro probably the past couple of weeks. But even if I, okay, this accentuates every lip line possible. When I say that my lips are kind of like shriveled, if I have like a balm or something, it's really not bad. I don't have like the flaking, crusting, nothing like that. It's just that they're a little, um, they're lacking a little moisture at this point. This draws out every lip line and when I put this on, this shrivels my lips to like a prune. So then they look all shrivelly and wrinkly and I don't like that either. That's so unattractive. Now, 
I have seen that this box is getting five stars on Sephora's website. So again, that just may be my reaction to this pencil because it goes on very, very nicely and the shade is beautiful. So I have to, I have to say that. My thing is just, I got kind of a broken one and then I, I'm not crazy about the smell. And I, after like maybe about 20 minutes, I don't like what it does to my lips as far as like, so anyways, that's my thought on that. It kind of, it turned me off to them to where Maybe they are great, but I really don't feel the need to go buy any more, which again is the beauty of this box. You pay $28 and you're like, okay, there's all these new things coming out. And you're like, okay, I've tried some of them. I got that out of my system. I don't feel the need to go buy any more. It's actually the first time in a really long time that I have not been over the moon for a Marc Jacobs product, but that's okay. Hit or miss sometimes, you know, and we're all different. So what works for me may not work for you and vice versa. So I'm just not super crazy about it, but the color is beautiful. That's that. Let's move on to the final one. All right, guys, we're down to the final product, which is one of the Fenty lipsticks. It is in the shade Candy Venom, and the line of lipsticks is called Mademoiselle. And I'm just gonna say, I saved the best for last. I actually saved this for last because it's so pigmented. I knew I wouldn't be able to get it off my lips to be able to test the others for you. But in all honesty, the best for last because this was my favorite out of the bunch. The formulation on these is incredible and the pigmentation is out of this world. So kind of similar to her holiday lipsticks, this is the format that it comes in or the little shape. So you've got the FB on the top there, which is kind of nice attention to detail. Let's put this bad boy on so that you can see what it looks like. This is what the Fenty lipstick looks like. I can't even, I, oh, this is so amazing. Now this has not gotten out of my system. I think I'm gonna need one or two of these. These are so incredible. For a matte lipstick, it glides on, and I can't even tell you, like, the pigmentation blows my mind. It's almost like one of those eyeshadow palettes that tells you it's one swipe color. Okay, this is like that. It is one swipe color, goes on seamlessly, doesn't make my lips look all shriveled and gross, doesn't suck the moisture out of my lips. It's very comfortable for a matte lipstick, which is really strange. I feel like Rihanna has just, she knows her stuff when it comes to makeup because release after release, I am so impressed every single time. This is, for my skin tone, these are the types of shades I really, really love because I feel like they brighten my face. But I also feel like this type of shade would suit so many skin tones, even my deeper skin tone ladies. It would just be such a pop of rich color. As far as dazzled or disappointed, I'm kind of on the fence. I think I'm more disappointed than I am dazzled for a couple of reasons. Um, I, Again, I already told you my thoughts on this. I'm not going to ramble on and on. Um, the, the shade on here, not really my cup of tea, um, but it's a good product. I think what I was most looking forward to was this, and I think because I was really disappointed in this one, I think it just kind of, my heart kind of sank for the rest of the box. Um, so that's really it, um, but this one is amazing. I almost kind of wish I'd have well, I wouldn't have been able to try them in that case. I was going to say, I wish I could have, I wish I'd have saved the money on this and bought a full size or two of this, but this did give me the opportunity to try that, see that I loved it and want to go get a couple others maybe in the near future. So I personally wasn't as crazy about it as I sometimes am about these sets. However, it doesn't mean it's a bad product. It actually is a very, very good deal for $28. Honestly, I should be dazzled just because of the price, the $28 for all of the new products and the two full-size products that you get. I just, I think that Marc Jacobs one really bummed me out, um, but it really, really is a good deal. So me personally was a little bit of a disappointment. However, overall, it really is a stellar way to try out new products without paying the price tag. I hope that was helpful. That was kind of all over the place, but those are my thoughts. Okay guys, today's verse of the day comes from Ephesians 1, 7 and it says, In Jesus we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace. God's grace is so amazing. You can't, 
It's the, it's the greatest thing. All right, guys. Well, I hope you found this video helpful if you were kind of looking at this set. I say give it a try. Um, don't let my disappointment on that one pencil steer you the opposite way. It really is a good way to try them out. I say give it a try, especially at $28. I think it was like $30 with tax. So give it a shot. See if you like them. I'm pretty sure there's a couple of things in there you would really like. I, I um, do hope you'll consider subscribing if you are new to my channel. No pressure. And I don't say that in every video. I just want to throw it out there from time to time. Um, I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and you liked it. And if you'd like to find, uh, follow me on Instagram, you can find me at Michelle's Glamour. All right, guys. See you soon. Take care.